Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It is Thursday. It's Whiskey Day, and I'm excited to be here. Hopefully, you are, too. And I have something very special for you. I have a Balvini 16-year triple cask. Balvini 16-year triple cask. Uh, it is obviously 16 years uh, in three different casks. It's finished in a traditional oak cask, a... Sherry Olorosa, Olorosa Butts Cask, a first fill, bur, uh, first fill barrels of a traditional whiskey cask. So, fresh oak, Oloroso, first fill whiskey. Whew. Um, I'm excited to get this and try it out. Well, I've already tried it. <laughs> it's right there. It's 40% or 80 proof, and the cost of it varies. Um, I got this for about 115 bucks. Um, on the secondary market, it's looking like it's about $500, and I'm not sure if this isn't available in the U.S. or if it is or what the deal is, but it um, seems to be quite um, lucrative on the secondary market. So if you're trying to get it, um, I'm not sure what you're going to get it for, but it should be about 115 bucks. That doesn't really matter on our um, scale here because uh, anything over uh, 40 bucks is a one barrel. Yep. That age old problem of us not really figuring out the price on barrels correctly. And five years later, it's really hard to change that because then it would alter everything. So I don't know. But um, if you can get this, I would definitely pick it up. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Mm, smells like a space side, and I believe Belvini is a space side. Uh, I'm going to get hammered for this because somebody's going to say nope. Oh, it's Dufftown. So. Kind of space side, but Dufftown, um, more Highland. It's but it smells like a space side. Very fruity, very aromatic, very floral. Sweetness of honey. <clears throat> Little bit of lavender, fresh grass. Um, very sweet, and that's probably that sherry cast, that Olorosa sherry but it smells absolutely wonderful. Now, I will have to um, be very transparent here and tell you that this is uh, my daughter's bottle, so it's not gonna stay here in the bar unless she forgets, but I gotta be nice to her. So I'm gonna definitely enjoy a dram or two before I send it back. This is absolutely great. A little watery but it's nice and sweet and got a little bit of spiciness to it. Uh, so it's got some malted, um, probably a little malted rye in it, possibly, because it's got some sweetness and some spiciness. It um, has a little back burn, um, so a little medicinal, but otherwise you're getting all those notes of um, kind of, green apple, um, light fruit, um, mowed grass, some floral aspect, a little bit of um, dark citrus, a tangerine maybe. It's, um, yeah, it's got a little bit of uh, darkness to it. But it's also very, um, um, Light, as in it's not a heavy fill, um, it's more of a light fill, but it's got that dark um, flavor to it. It's kind of confusing. But it also has a, kind of a, a watery weakness to it. It's, a, it's um, what I like to say, it's a cooling effect, not a heating effect or a warming effect. All right, so obviously on price, this is a one barrel. I think the aroma is just really, really enriching and, and nice. It's not overpowering. Uh, kind of uh, uh, coalesced and complex of that um, 
aroma of um, uh, floral and, and fruitiness, but also a little bit of that malty um, and almost a small rye effect to it. So I'm gonna say it's a four on uh, aroma. Uh, flavor I think is pretty good. Uh, think that we would probably put it in the three and a half range. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up to the four. And then the bite is definitely a three to three and a half. So if we go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and a half, so it's a solid three plus, uh, but the price is really hampering it. So I'm gonna put this at a three and a half on the barrel. I really wanna put it on a four. I wish there was people here that I can bounce off. I, I really miss having a partner up here, whether it's Andy or Cody and people in the audience like my wife or Cody or Alex, um, but I'm by myself, so I can't really get their opinion. So this is strictly my opinion. I think it's better than a three and a half, but I'm gonna put it at three and a half. Let's put a three and a half plus. I'll have to make a new graphic for that. But I am really interested in your opinion, so leave your comments below uh, in, in that, uh, what you feel the Balvini 16 is. I'm a huge fan of Balvini in general, and I love uh, that Space Side Scotch or Isla. Um, this is more of a Space Side Highland mix. No smokiness to it at all, but I don't know. Let us know what you think. Obviously, the price of the secondary market says that this is super popular, so if you can at least try it in the bar, you should. If you can pick it up, I, I think it might be worth the 100, 150. I can't see this is worth the secondary market of 350 to 500, but that's not me, that's you. Um, are your decision, so you decide whether you wanna pay that, but. All right, so this is a three and a half plus, and I hope you have a great Thursday. Looking forward to tomorrow's um, cocktail. It's another original uh, bourbon and booze cocktail, so make sure you check that out. Also, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm so overwhelmed in trying to keep all that stuff up. I'm to the point that I might have to be looking for um, uh, a partner in social media. But don't send me your resume yet. I just gotta, <laughs> I'm really overwhelmed at um, a different, a couple different whiskey things that I'm um, uh, juggling at the time. And so I feel really bad that I can't keep up that social media. So I don't know. All right, looking forward to your comments and uh, make sure you um, subscribe. Most of you that watch this video are not subscribed. Just go ahead and subscribe and show me the love. And then later down the road, if you get tired of it, then you can uns unsubscribe. But if you're watching this more than this uh, channel more than once, go ahead and subscribe so you can always get uh, every new video every day um, at noon. All right. Remember, there is no bad whiskey. And I will stand by that. There's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is really good whiskey. You remember, it's a three and a half plus. Um, four is a great, so, but this is really good whiskey. Cheers. Mm -hmm.